Hello everyone and welcome in this video. So all of us know that with each passing day, the infections of COVID-19 are still spreading and the need for well-designed isolation rooms are still rising. So we try by using CFD to find the best solution for supply and discharge air from these rooms and how to make it safe for the medical staff. Therefore, in this video, we will show a different scenarios for ventilating and air conditioning uh, specifically how much these systems should be handled and where's the optimum locations for system ports that for isolation rooms of one or two persons also which is the desired case obtained and in addition what boundary condition should be used for this type of simulations and to make a practice or similar simulation you can download one of our models by clicking on the link in the description below so the first model includes a one patient in a room of approximately 924 cubic feet a volume with these dimensions shown here the supply port is positioned in such a way that the air will direct it to the patient body and intake or exhaust port was placed on the wall right above the patient's head different angle of air supply have been tested with a various volumetric flow rates and this model was taken approximately 4 million cells mesh however the results show that an optimum angle for supply air direction should be directly sweeps the patient chest and the minimum volumetric flow rate required to satisfy no recirculation in the room for patient to breathe is approximately 100 cfm and the optimum case for one patient in the room where the VAC system handle approximately from 130 to 150 CFM. Now we will talk for the case of two patients. We have a problems in this model. The first one which can be considered as a conclusion for the same locations of inlet and outlet ports, nothing will work well. Increasing the air handle capacity will increase the turbulence in the room. This must be avoided. Also, Placing a separation sheet between the patients will eliminate some large eddies or vortices, but the flow is still chaotic and high recirculation will be exist. Now, our solution for this case is done by distributing the intake ports to a specific location, which is positioned at 1.2 meter from patient head and 0.9 meter elevation for the system handle 150 cfm of air it is the same room which can be occupied by one patient or two patients now to make a similar study you need to create a geometry and again this geometry can be downloaded from the link in the description of this video and you need to set a boundary conditions if you work with an a negative pressure room so you will set the outlet boundary as a pressure outlet and the inlet boundary as a pressure inlet open to the atmosphere and if you work with an ahu system you will set a mass inlet and mass outlet what is important here is how to set a boundary condition for patient to breathe so for that reason one meter per second velocity inlet with an angle of 30 degree is a good representative value for any ventilation and air conditioning system now uh, that's all for this study thank you for watching and hope you all the best